name is Tommy Thomas Rodriguez, and I am your friendly neighborhood hookahologist here. Back again. Thank you for tuning in for another review. Let's dive right into this. What do I got for you today? So we're going to be talking about a new seashell I came across online about a month ago. And we already know they make the gun hookahs go ranging from pistols to AK-47s. Who is this brand you, you do not know of? What? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mob Hookah. Mob Hookah has been making very nice hookahs. I've never smoked out of an AK-47, but everyone tells me it's great. They're like, hey, why did you stop at making hookahs? Why not do something cooler? So they did. I introduce you, Flavor Bomb Sisha. Flavor Bomb, get it? Because it's an explosion, and it's in a bomb. Yeah, I know, I, my jokes are real corny and sad. It's okay, I don't do it for you, I do it for myself because I, I got something that all you Breaking Bad fans are gonna go nuts over. And I know this because I like the show, I watched it, I binge watched it on Netflix, and I had to re-binge watch it just because I bought this flavor. Because, why not? But enough is enough about me talking about it. Let me tell you, it is Blue Meth Sisha. Here. You can see it's more of a lighter leaf tobacco, which is really nice. What I really liked about this when I was packing the bowl is that you, you'll notice with a lot of different uh, brands, like Fumari, I want to say, does this the most. It's really, really juicy, and it's pulled out. It just drips. Like you, feel, like you can see it dripping as if you like stuck your hand in wet water. It's not, it's not super juicy. It's like it's got the nice amount in there, so like when I pull it out, I don't have to like clean my hands super, you know, detailedly or anything. So it, that's nice. I got it packed here in my funnel bowl, so it it smells like a blueberry-ish kind of thing. Like I want to say that's what's going on here. It really does smell like blueberry. I don't know, it's blue meth. It, it can taste like anything at this point. So we're just going to go ahead and pack this up here. We got my foil. I use heavy duty foil. Some people don't. I think that's ridiculous. I Personally, I just think heavy duty foil works the best. The lounge I used to work at didn't use heavy duty foil. They had like this little standard foil, which I I hated beyond all belief. So let's just go ahead and pack this up real quick. I put the shiny side down, be just because, that's not how I was taught, the shiny side down. Some people do shiny side up, some people do shiny side down, I do it shiny side down. Some people even double foil it, which I don't get the point of, I, I really don't. If you're going to double foil it, you might as well just get a flavor saver. I know some people do, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, I just, I just don't like it. I don't, I've tried double foiling it. I don't see that big of a difference. I still get the same amount of clouds. I still get the same amount of flavor. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back. So we got the coals lit. I'm using three coconut or coconut coals here in my Al Capone pistol mob hookah here. Aluminum tipped hose, silicone. This is one of my favorite hoses, by the way. I, I, I need to get the brass knuckle hose. That's my next, you know, $30 investment. Impressions. Let's start with let's start with that. Right now, I'm tasting. It's it's got an interesting taste. I can't really put the put my finger on it. I I was kind of right when I was talking about blueberry. It tastes blueberry-ish, but it's not blueberry. You know, what I mean? you, you guys know like you can't point something out, but you know what it tastes like. It's got a. It's real refreshing. That's what I like. That's what I would want to say right now. It's a real refreshing flavor. So. Stop right there. Yes, I know I need a haircut. It's apparent. I'm going to make an appointment with my barber. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the Seisha. Blue meth. So, final thoughts. I've been smoking it for about 45 minutes now. It's a very solid flavor. I must admit, I, 
I got to say, it's really good. So, uh, trying to pick at it, see if there's anything bad. The only downside to it, that it's got a little bit of a minty aftertaste. If you're not a big fan of mint, I don't recommend this flavor to you because if you don't like mint, you're not going to like this flavor. This flavor is actually really good. I, I like it. I've only tried two flavors by Mabuka so far. I've tried Purple Drank, and I've also tried Blue Meth. Blue Meth, I like a little bit more than I do um, Purple Drank. Other than that, you know, be sure to let me know what tri mild flavors you've tried and what you think your favorite is in the comment section below. This is all that I pretty much have for you guys today. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out my other Mob Hookah videos. One on the review on my Mob Hookah Al Capone and then the H2O Go. Those will be in the description below here. And be sure to get your own flavor of Mob Hookah and tell me what you guys like in the comment section below. To get your own Mob Hookah flavors, I'm going to have their link in there. They're really affordable. In 100 grams, you can get uh, for $9.99 for an extra 6 bucks. Making it $15.99, you can get the 250 grams. And they also got, right now, free shipping. So if you're balling on a budget like me, free shipping is a great thing. So I don't know how long they're actually going to have free shipping. They might change it. They might not. Until they do change it, be sure to take advantage of the free shipping. That's all that I really have for you guys today. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, under the Hookahologist. Follow me on Facebook under the Hookahologist page. That's where I'm going to have all my new videos and stuff like that. Maybe a little bit of discussion. Until next time, guys, keep smoking.